This time we're going to install a theme, a theme that was created by somebody else, but we like very much, like the Arc Dark theme, Arc Arc Dark and Arc Darker. So it takes care of the Windows borders, it takes care of the uh, controls as well. And if you want to, I can also tell him to take care of the desktop. So we are now completely gone arc dark. And um, when making these Sardi icons you see on the top here, you can, um, yeah, well, I visited 42 distros or so to make icons for them. And then I discovered that there are other distros who have other ways of installing packages, of course. But um, my tip here is if you want to find something new for your system, you just can't install it on it. So we're working on Linux Mint in this movie. You should know that there are other programs and other ways to, to, to get your Intel. Type in our package Arch. So when visiting Arch Linux, I have uh, seen that there is an Arch user repository. Those are people making packages builds, so you can easily install a program, a theme, an icon theme via this hour here on the top. So you go to the top left here, hour, and in this place you can find out what packages uh, there are in a package search. And we are going to see for a GTK arc theme and see what comes out. So this is a better page. You can search by number of things and see if they're out of date, flagged, etc. But I noticed when I was on Arc, I liked the Arc Red very much. So I had installed it. And um, now I'm Linux Mint. I said, I miss it. I want something other than this blue and also install the gray which is also nice but today I'm going to choose the arc red then the next step I did was figure out where is the programmer who made this theme where can I download it so I followed this link then we're at this person's github and he says look I've made a variant on horses theme and it's looking like this okay if you still say, I like this, I want this too on my machine, uh, any machine, not just Linux Mint, you have to install some programs. He says to us, look, uh, if you previously installed it, then these are three lines you can pop up in a terminal, pop in in a terminal, and then they're gone, but we are first installers. And then you have to install all this kind of stuff and then download it from GitHub, install it, install it, and done. And if you want to uninstall it, you make it again, but with a sudo make uninstall, I will make another movie about that. But since you know I like to script, I have this really nice script. Well, I'll just go to here and then go to my personal the ultimate Linux Mint 8 and cinnamon that's why we're making all these tutorials it's all about Linux Mint making it the lo very last kernel installing stuff you you just have to check the 60 tutorials but it's about making the exact steps that uh, he says to do and we have a little script here install gtk arc theme red let's not run it let's read it and let's compare it. Scripts, you can make them yourself as many times as you want, change things. But basically, <laughs> I copy pasted it. It's as simple as that. I told my system to sudo apt-get install, autoconf, check, auto make, check, package config, yes, because I'm not on Fedora and the development uh, package from lib library gtk3 debian based we are debian based linux mint and git why git of course because we are going on the next line git clone it so we're going to clone everything that's on this website 
and it's going to be called a folder arc theme red with a capital R. All things are important. Depth one and it's going to change the directory to arc theme red. So we're inside the arc the directory. It's going to autogen, which is the next line here. Autogen prefix user user. So it's going to this line make sure that you're installing it in user share themes and that's the path and then at last last but not least i just uninstalled the sorry i just uninstalled it so now i'm going to install it and that's it so i just basically followed the instructions that are here inside here but for uh, the future i'll have a script i will not have to read it again I'll just have to run it. Okay, that's set. Let's quickly run it. So this is, should be saved. That first, closed, and then this is going to be this on Dropbox, so it's going to be uh, saved, backup, and we're going to install. Install what? GTK. What one? Which one? Arc. Which one? The red. That's it. Well, I've installed all software before. It says destination path of Arc Theme Red already exists. Yes, that's because I already tried it. My apologies. So you just delete the Arc Theme Red, run it again. Did have to close my terminal, of course. Reflex. So here it is. The Arc Theme Red is being installed. I downloaded it first. And then you get all these little lines, which are just great. And the most important line to just scroll back to is it's going to s install the files in the user share themes. Let's quickly have a look. And here it is. Arc red at the, those three uh, folders have uh, been added. Now quickly, quickly, let's have a look. Is it an improvement? Should I install it? That's something you have to decide now. And uh, this one. Voila, so this is red. Red, red settings, red, red, red. It's something else, it's something different. It's another taste selecting box. It's a small but interesting way to change your desktop to a theme that's not initially made for you but made for everybody okay have fun with it